Man, it was just right there. I can see it under the water. There we go. Coming up. <laughs> 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 Good morning. It is 11.30 in the morning. 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Hola, buenos dias. November 30th, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. A perfect sunny day on the Baja Peninsula here in Cabo San Lucas of Los Cabos, which as I showed in the last video includes both Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo, about a 30 minute drive away. And straight up ahead, you can see the marina with all the boats and the peninsula with the iconic arch, the classic symbol of Cabo San Lucas. Really effing cold beer. Do. And so today, that I'm going to uh, avoid the police as best as I can. And then the plan is to go the other way from where I went in the last video, in which I went to the left right up here, and instead I'm going to go to the right. You can see now the uh, hill of the peninsula. On the other side of that hill is Lover's Beach. Looks like a spectacular beach. And you can get there by boat. As I showed in the last video, then there are mobs of hawkers trying to sell you tours and coke and weed and whatnot out on the boardwalk here. And I'm not really in the mood for uh, dealing with that whole scene, so I'm hoping that going this way will get me away from the center of the tourist trap here and that it will be a nice walk. Well, it looks like it's still going to be the uh, tourist walkway at least for a little ways here, but uh, anyway, going to go this way and get over there, get to a nice beach hopefully, and get a taste of Cabo San Lucas. Here we go, Tourist Central. And so you could get the boat out there, there are lots of uh, tour sellers. And that would certainly be a nice way to uh, go experience the arch and the beach and see some other things, but just not in the mood for the group tour experience. Gonna walk it and see what it's like. I think it's gonna be a nice walk, especially if there is a cold swim at the end. Whoa, check it out. Hola. Sea lion? He is just chilling there. Whoa. All right, well, uh, nice start to the day. Maybe we'll see some more. So far, this is a very nice walk. Excuse me? Wanna go fishing? No, I'm just going for a walk to Lover's Beach. You can walk there, right? Thanks. So far, a very nice uh, walk. I was just about to say I hadn't been hassled by hustlers yet until that guy, but, you know, he just asked me if I wanted to go fishing. Alright. Which way here? Back to ship. Activity center. 
This whole thing? Uh, Lover's Beach, Playa, Playa. Yeah, you want to go? Yes, but I'm walking. Do I, should I go this way or this way? No, no, mira. Let me show you. Well, no, I don't, I don't want a tour. I'm, I'm doing no, no, it for no, a walk. No. You can walk. The Playa, Lover's Beach is over here. Yeah. And we're like... You are right here. I see. So either, either way. This so the, the only way to get to the Lover's Beach is by boat. Ah, so, but, but there's a beach right here, it looks like. The, look. This is where they filmed the movie Troya with Brad Pitt. All this ah. beach that belongs to, to Somar, uh, Finisterra, Kupala, ah. so uh, Gran Somar, Rancho Grande. All this is private. It belongs to these hotels. I see. There. How much is the tour that you offer? If you want to get wrapped up, the round trip is going to cost you $20. I see. I see. So we said that the beaches here are all private, but let's find out if they are really totally inaccessible. Going to walk around first and then if no luck actually getting a close-up look at the beach then probably go back and take that tour. 20 bucks, great deal. Okay, well this is sure a uh, swanky looking place with a gate and probably they aren't gonna let me get through but let's find out if maybe there is beach access somehow. Hola senor. Hola. Lover's Beach? La Playa? No, here's another. Yeah. Straight like this? Okay, thank you. All right, well, he didn't say it was impossible. I love these uh, rocky hills here. Did you go to Lover's Beach? No, we are just coming from the Grand Fulmar up here. Okay, do you know yeah. if you can just walk there from here? Well, if you go across here, it depends on the tide to whether you can get back. I know you can get to Divorce Beach, but Oh, okay. I don't think you can get the. I don't know if you can get the Lover's Beach. It depends on how high the tide is. Yeah. Okay, I can get to some yeah. beach this way anyway. Yeah, you, you can get yeah. to a beach that way. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. I suspected that the uh, tour seller was probably telling a lie there, because to the best of my knowledge, then beaches are never private in Mexico, but the access to the beach can be private. So that part is probably correct. But uh, looks like this street here might get me around. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. Hola, señor. Hola. Es possible la playa? No. No. No hay acceso. Ah. Yes, it's close. But what if can I like hike, hike around or something like this? Maybe the other side, the beach. I see going along the yeah. cliffs on yeah. the other side. Yeah. But there's no no trail, no path, no. something up there. No. no. Okay, thanks a lot. I can't even like pay something for beach access or... For the lower beach? The... Well, from here, if I want to walk through, I can't pay pay for beach access or something? No. Not possible. No. Access for the lower beach and the lower beach, only for the taxi water or water taxi? Yeah, by the boat. Only. Then. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. All righty. Well, the guy was telling the truth. But, like the guy said, and as I was seeing on the map there, then... It looks like you can maybe get uh, at least part of the way, get along the water by uh, just going along the uh, walkway there and continuing. So, an amazing point here. Ultimate views. And down there is the famous arch. What a nice beach. And you could you know, kind of scramble your way along the uh, rocks out there. But, I'm thinking it's worth the 20 bucks and get the uh, full tour and see the arch up close and get to the Lover's Beach for sure. Hi, Amanda. Okay, David, I gotta go, but I just wanted to let you know it was only two, not three, okay? Thank you. Bye. Nice GoPro. It's a DJI Osmo. What is that? I used to film with a GoPro. Well, DJI makes the uh, drones, the little one, like travel type drone. Oh, interesting. And they also have Can a GoPro. It? It's like a GoPro, basically. It's basically the same thing. It's an action cam underwater. Interesting. Very nice. And this is for protection. This is for wind. 
for the sound. Exactly. It does a great job of uh, cutting out the. Sorry, you're recording right now, and I'm. I am. I'm uh, getting in the way of that. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> That's Miguel. Let me just call him. All right. Hi, Miguel. No, gracias. Just uh, looking for now. I'm going on a tour in a couple minutes, so I have to. Uh, I have one. Ah, one. these ones are cool, though. The, see the real sharp too. Yeah. The different ones. Maybe when I come back, I will look again. But gracias. So. I found the tour for $15 instead of 20 bucks. However, he did a bait and switch on me, which I was happy to take. It was my choice, of course. And I'm instead going on a $50 tour. The $15 one was the hour, and you go out to the point and see the arch and the uh, Lover's Beach and stuff, and then come back, just an hour. I'm doing a three hour tour. Uh-oh, here we go. Hopefully we don't get lost in a uh, hurricane, but... Uh, three hours it includes like all you can drink food snorkeling the uh, Santa Maria Beach and we'll see what else also the arch and that stuff as well which is very close by so this is uh, Amanda the uh, tour guide welcome back hola amigo hola muchas gracias buenas tardes hola buenas tardes how are you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good, doing good. Perfect. Excellent. Howdy, man. Hola, señor. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Hello, sir. Amigo, uh, water, beer, uh, sex on the beach. What's in sex on the beach? Rum or? Vodka. Uh, pineapple, okay. orange juice. No, 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 I see. I have water and a beer in here. I think I'll wait for now okay, and then okay, try okay. it. Okay. Amigo, sex on the playa. Oh, we might see some whales. Excellent. If you see a whale, and if it ain't 10 miles out there, they, chances are they'll, they'll chase it down or something. Yeah. Sounds like I'm on the right boat. I just came across it like 20 minutes ago. I was going to do the hour tour to the arch, and then he said, well, we got the three hour tour. So I thought it's worth paying for. <laughs> This guy has done the same tour seven times in two weeks since he's been here. I guess it's a good tour. Amigo, so I'm going to say something on Spanish. If you just give me one Mexican minute, I'll translate for you in a little bit, okay? One Mexican minute is a very long time. <laughs> one Mexican minute is a very long time. Amigos, bienvenidos todos que nada, pues. Man, check out those beaches. Oh, yeah. Look at that beach. 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 Look at Van a estar en el servicio para ustedes, mi nombre es Enrique, todos bienvenidos, ¿eh? que se la pasen bien, disfruten.
There was a whale right out there. I saw it, but uh, will it surface again? <laughs> Come on. We're all waiting for you. Mm. Go, go, go! Go catch him! Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh. There it is. Baby? Did you catch the I did! I got it! Did you get it, babe? Alright, good, because mine sucked. Man, it was just right there. I can see it under the water. There we go. Nice! Coming up! Hola, 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 hola! 